Hi, I'm Jeremy Sternhagen, Technical Marketing Manager at Planar Systems. Planar's UltraRes Series displays offer superior performance with exceptional 4K clarity and advanced processing, ideal for a wide range of applications. In this video, I'll take you on a tour of some of those advanced processing features. The video wall tiling feature allows you to run a single source connected in series to multiple displays. When the tiling processing is enabled, the source is scaled on each display to show the image across the entire video wall. To enable this feature, simply navigate to the on-screen menu of each display to the Advanced Settings option. Here you will see the Tiling option listed. Once tiling is enabled, enter the number of horizontal and vertical displays using the wall width and height settings. Then, assign the display a position on the wall using the unit column and row settings. You will then see your source scaled across the entire video wall. Content rotation allows a source to be rotated in 90 degree intervals. In the image adjustment menu, navigate to Content Rotation. When rotated 90 or 270 degrees, the content is rescaled to fit within the horizontal resolution of the display, or inverted when set to 180 degrees. The content rotation and tiling features can be combined when a video wall is configured in portrait orientation. This will allow designers much greater flexibility when configuring for portrait video wall installations. Planar UltraRes displays also feature an advanced color management system, allowing for the precise adjustment of the color settings. To utilize this feature, navigate to the Advanced Settings and then Advanced Color in the on-screen menu. These controls are used by advanced installers to achieve exact color point targets on the display. When connected to a network, Planar UltraRes series displays can be monitored and controlled via web browser. To utilize this feature, obtain the IP address from the on-screen menu of your UltraRes display and enter it into the address bar of your internet browser. The system information page displays version information for all programmable parts of the system. It also contains the model and serial number. The inputs and views page controls which multi-source view mode is being displayed and which input is being displayed in each zone. The audio page controls which zone is being heard and at what volume level. The presets page allows you to save and recall presets as well as give them customized names. The notifications page allows you to use an email account to send an email to a specified address when a specific event occurs. These events include power on and off, system errors, source detection, sources being lost, and sources being selected. On the System Settings page, you can rename your UltraRes display and you can update the firmware. To update the firmware, simply hit the Browse button and navigate to the firmware file on your PC. On the Access Control page, you can lock out certain controls and require a password to obtain access. Once you have made all the desired adjustments to your UltraRes display, you can save all of these settings as a single file to a storage location. The first way to do this is to navigate to System Settings in the Advanced Settings menu, and then to save all settings to USB. Insert a USB stick into the USB slot on the rear of your UltraRes display, hit OK, and in a few seconds your USB stick will be ready. The file contained on the USB drive can be archived for later use, or you can use it immediately to clone the settings to additional UltraRes displays. The Save and Restore feature can also be accessed over the web browser. If you have any questions, please contact us or visit planar.com for more information.